Hello, uh, welcome to this segment. In this segment, we are going to discuss about adders. We'll start with this one and then we'll see the features of this one and then we'll discuss, we'll finish with the, this one, this adder. The, both of them are adders, so we'll start with this one. See, this, this is a full adder. So, you have, uh, let's say, an a, this is an n-bit adder. So, you have inputs coming in and all these adders, uh, half adders are performing this uh, addition. And at the end of the day, when all these additions are performed, you have the final result. So, see the scenario. For example, let's say for S2, to generate the output or to get the output at S2, this adder needs to wait for the carry C2. So, when carry C2 can generate, when S1 is generated, then carry C2 can be generated. But this adder needs to wait for this carry. So, this adder waits for this carry, this adder waits for this carry, the following adder waits for this one and so on. So, as you can see here, what is happening is, even though all the inputs are already appeared at the input end of all the, uh, all the adders, because the carries are not ready yet, all additions are not performed. So, what happens is the last adder needs to wait for the carry to be generated from the second last adder, which creates a delay to the enter in the entire circuit. That's why it has a huge delay if we use this adder circuit it would generate a huge delay. Now, this adder has a name. This, this The name of this adder is ripple carry adder. You can relate the name with the operation principle, operational principle of this adder. Ripple carry adder. That means carry, they, they just propagate. So, this one is called ripple carry adder. So, as you just said that the last box has to wait for the carry of the second last box. So, which means this is not very uh, effective when we are trying to uh, perform first addition, fast addition or perform fast calculation that's the objective of using a uh, using computer so what could be an alternative one alternative design could be this one how this one overcomes the limitations that we have seen with this one see in this one what we did we use three adder and Let's say, uh, let me tell you one thing that the architecture that we are going to discuss in our CST 340 computer architecture course is going to be 32 bit architecture. Even though we have mostly 64 bit around us, but still we are going to discuss 34 bit architecture and in between we'll be discussing bit of 64 bit uh, uh, architecture as well. But the main focus of, 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 of this course would be 32-bit architectures. In some cases, some instances, we'll be discussing how 64-bit version of this uh, method uh, would work or how, how it looks. But for the time being, let's stick to 32-bit uh, architecture. So, let's assume that we have two 32-bit numbers, A and B, and we are going to perform addition of those two numbers. Now, how can you do that? To do that, let's 
divide those two numbers into two halves lower order 16 bit and higher order 16 bit let's have this let's this uh, uh, adder deal with the lower order 16 bit of both the numbers which means from a naught to a15 and b naught to b15 the upper adder handles these two values and it performs the addition okay when it performs the addition, the result is S0, S15. And there is another one, uh, the, the, uh, another thing that this adder generates and that is called carry. This is our carry. Now, we'll, we'll discuss what we are going to do with this carry, but let's discuss these two box first. So we have given lower order 16 bit to this adder. Now, we have higher order 16 bit remaining. So, let's deal with the higher order 16 bits of these two values. That means from A16 to A31, B16 to B31. See, in the upper part, we only use one adder, but in lower part, we have used two adders. If you look carefully, then you would see that both these adder are dealing with same values a 16 to 31 b 16 to 31 this adder and this as well as this adder both these adders are dealing with same value so why why do we have this why do what what what, what is the uh, uh, purpose of having these two adder who are dealing with the same inputs the purpose is in this adder, we have given a carry of 0. And in this adder, we have given a carry of 1, which means before this and this or this, these two adder starts operating, they already have a carry 0. Uh, this one already have a, uh, has a carry 0 and this one has a carry 1, which means even though both of these adder they are dealing with the same number but their operation uh, uh, and adding the same number but this one start with a carry 0 and this one starts with a carry 1 which means when we have output from uh, through this link this link will have output which Consider carry is equal to 0. When we have output to this link, this link will give you output which considered carry is equal to 1. That means this is a multiplexer and in the input end of the multiplexer, you have addition of the higher order uh, 16 bit of these two values. This one addition without the carry and this one addition with the carry. Now, let's assume that this one is multiplexer port 0 and this one is multiplexer port 1. So, coming back to this carry, we all know this is a 1 bit carry. So, this could be 0 or this could be 1. So, if this one equals to 0, it go, it, now this carry, if you look carefully, you would understand that this carry actually works as a selector for this multiplexer. So, when you have C equal to 0, that means the multiplexer will output this link. This one will go through go to the output but if the carry is 1 multiplexer will output this one so this this output this adder's output will go to go as multiplexer's output in doing so what we are doing here is higher order 16 bit of these two values 
doesn't have to wait for the carry of the upper order or the lower order should I say to come for uh, during their addition. We have used one extra adder and we have provided this carry equal to 0 and carry equal to 1 so that when this addition getting performed these two adder also performs addition on the higher order bits. That means at the same time you get output of this lower order at the and similarly you get output the higher order which means less delay has occurred in this circuit compared to this one. So we call this one as fast adder. So, this is ripple carry adder and this one is fast adder. Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching this segment. Uh, we will come back uh, to the next seg uh, segment soon.